Um, I was at the park the other day, and there was this mum shouting after her daughter, Esme. She went, Esme! Esme! And I ran up and went, no, Esme! <laughs> and then I dropped to the floor and giggled for 20 minutes. So, um, I'm quite an immature man, Liverpool. Uh, like, I turned 28 recently, and I'm at that age now where, like, all my friends are all either getting married or having houses or buying kids. And, like, <laughs> like, I'm not really there yet, right? This is an example of where I'm at in my life, right? Um, as a fully formed 28-year-old adult human man with a job and a car that belongs to my mum, <laughs> I was recently sick from eating too many biscuits. <laughs> oh, yeah. Best thing I've ever done. Uh, and, like, it was a bit of a wake-up call for me because I thought, right, if that's how I died, right, if that's how they found me... <laughs> with like hobnobs dribbling down my chin <laughs> and a chocolate finger sticking out my arm, <laughs> then like, that'd be quite shit because someone would turn up at my funeral and be like, well, at least he died doing what he loved. Oh, I hate that phrase because I don't think it's a good thing to die doing what you love because you don't want your last words to be, oh, I was about to come. <laughs> uh, my biscuit of choice, by the way, is broken biscuits, not the soggy ones. It's... Uh, because it, it's a reminder that no matter how broken you are, you can still bring joy to someone. <laughs> yeah. And they're ATP and you get loads. Hey. <laughs> See, it's not all about the laughs. Um, uh, so... <laughs> uh, my girlfriend came up to me the other day uh, and she said, look, we've been together a few years now. We should maybe think about getting married. Uh, and I said, ah, I don't really believe in marriage. And she said, oh, okay. She came to me the next day and she said, how do you feel about getting a house? Um, you know. She said, okay. She came to me the next day and she went, look, can you at least cut back on the biscuits? So we bought a house. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, we went to buy a dining room table and, like, I had no idea how expensive tables were. I just didn't know, like, at school, if they'd have taught me how to make tables, I'd have been set for life. But, like, instead they taught me all this useless shit that I didn't need to know, like, what an oxbow lake is, or where to, how to ask where the library is in French. You know, the, the key life lessons. So, how do mortgages work? Shh. <laughs> you don't need to know about that. Instead, let's learn all about the different parts of a leaf. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't learn first aid, I didn't learn CPR, any means of saving a person's life. Learn about shapes. It's like, <laughs> it doesn't help. Can you, can you revive this woman? Uh, no. But have you realised she's collapsed in the shape of a rhombus? <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't resuscitate her, but I can work, up the, can work out the area of the floor she's taken up. So, <laughs> so you know, we didn't get a table. Um, we got a dog, though. Um, it's a lot harder to eat my dinner off him. But, like, he, uh, <laughs> but, like I love him. Uh, he's called Ollie. He's a, he's a sprocker spaniel. He's antisocial as fuck, and he hates kids. He's perfect. <laughs> like, I, I, fucking, I just love him. Um, he does this really adorable thing um, where when I'm on the sofa, he'll come and start nibbling in my ear like, it, like it's proper fucking cute. Um, he also eats a lot of cat shit. Uh, <laughs> so I'll be sat there watching telly and I'll go, babe, can you, can you smell shit? And she'll have a sniff and she'll go, oh, babe, it's your ears. And like, <laughs> I knew I was constipated, but I didn't think it'd go up. Like, uh, it's so... <laughs> Oh, I love animals, man. Like, I decided to go vegan, um, but I've also decided that I'll still eat animals if I think that they're dicks. Uh, <laughs> so, so far, I've had uh, a crocodile burger, um, s some shark soup, and uh, jerk chicken. <laughs> jerk chicken. Not enough people laughed when I said, jerk chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Coco van. I don't know what you want. Uh, so, yeah. Giving up wanking. <laughs> yeah, there's no easy way to say that. Um, I found it's a lot like giving up smoking. Like, it's making me very irritable, really tetchy. Um, I don't know what to do with my hands anymore. And 
And when I'm drunk, I try and buy one off a stranger for 50p. <laughs> Come on, lad, I'm gasping here. Come on. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm trying to sort myself out. Um, I got myself a new therapist, and she's fucking ace. Uh, in my last session, she genuinely said to me, you are depressed, but you're fun with it, which is all I really <laughs> needed to hear. <laughs> That's fucking ace. Um, like, she's better than my old one. We got for the wrong foot because she had the same first name as my mum. So there's like, there this weird psychological shit going on. She's like, why didn't you tell me about your childhood? I was like, yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you, Jenny? Uh, <laughs> And like all Jenny would do is just go, look, you're a good looking lad. It was a few years ago now. You, you're a good looking lad. You've got the world ahead of you. You'll be fine. And then she'd just go on about her holidays, right? So I thought, if I wanted someone to bullshit me about their holidays, I'll get my hair cut. It's cheaper. So um, I thought, right, how do I get it, Jenny? What can I do? And I thought, I know, right? I'm going to stop turning up, but I'm not going to tell her. Oh, yeah. That'll make her worry. It, it didn't. Uh, she didn't call, she didn't email, which means she would sit there for an hour every week going, I wonder where that depressed kid is. <laughs> I wonder what happened to him. Right? And I thought, I'm not having that. So um, I found her on Facebook. Uh, and I started sending her pictures of me on really tall buildings. <laughs> <laughs> but I got the wrong Jenny. Um, <laughs> And my mum was like, oh, that's a nice view, isn't it? <laughs> I'm glad you're getting out the house. So. I am all right, by the way, um, as most depressed people will tell you when they want the gig to go well. Um, but <laughs> now, like, honestly, it's great. Like, I've had a lovely Christmas. Christmas is the best time to be depressed, if anyone's thinking about getting into it. Um, because you can comfort eat and comfort drink as much as you want and nobody knows the difference, right? Boxing Day, I had uh, a full bag of sausage rolls and a family-sized Christmas pudding for breakfast. Um, my mum comes in, puts her hand on my shoulder and goes, son, do you want a beer? I was like, yes! <laughs> this is fucking brilliant. Um, so my top tip to you, if you are having you know, a difficult time this year, my top tip to you is just you know, have a Christmas. Um, I have about seven a year, but then again, I am very festive. Uh, <laughs> guys, you've been fucking lovely. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Yeah.